Say hello to my wooden friend. you flapjack or short stack lovers out there, welcome to the best cooking show in the world. Really weird why she stared at me while I was saying that. <laughs> Two chefs. One knife. And a pancake palooza. Yeah. We're going to do a whole bunch of flavored pancakes. Just flavored. We're all yeah. just doing plain white flour yeah. pancakes. We're going to kind of wing it as we go. We don't have any maple syrup. Oh, what yeah. do I do? What the hell? I'm Chef MPH. I'm Chef Grace slash Chef Yam. If you like pretty woman, walk into the car. Work it, work it. Ow, ow. You go, girl. Look at you. Okay, I'm done. In my pants. Oh! oh. Alright, whoa. Buff the bowl. Alright, OCD is now settled down. Let's do it. Alright, so we're gonna make just the basic pancake batter. Nothing fancy. Great explanation, though. Alright, <laughs> so we're gonna sift all the dry ingredients together. Flour, baking powder. We're gonna sift that together. And then our ingredients. We got two eggs. We mm -hmm. some sugar. I'm stealing That's... this vanilla. <laughs> Give us a nice twist. And then we got some melted butter. Uh, I got some milk here. I feel like a question's gonna happen soon. <laughs> if you wish to make this uh, dairy free, is that possible? It is possible. You can substitute the milk for nut milk, nut milk. or an oat milk, and then you can even not use eggs in here. You can do like that flaxseed mixture. So you just mix some flaxseed, put some water, get that all mucusy and egg like, and then use that. What about the butter? The butter, just use oil, avocado oil. <laughs> or canola oil. So we're gonna incorporate the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients, like that. And you just wanna incorporate, like just till it's mixed together because you do not want to overwork the gluten. And lumps are okay in pancake batter. Watch our old videos, <laughs> you'll get that. Watch our waffle video. That is a hilarious video. <laughs> and that's actually perfect. Right there. And there you go. Wow, someone's patting herself yeah. on the back. <laughs> Harder. So we got a nice ladle here. Pancake time in the city. So we're gonna do like big pancakes. There we go. I got blueberries, I got frozen blueberries. So we're gonna go classic blueberry pancakes. Blue. We got some chocolate chips. Mix it with some white chocolate chips. And then on this one, we're gonna go combination of white and dark chocolate. There's the dark and there's the white. We got some toffee pieces. Uh, we're gonna decorate one with some little score bits, like score. Birthday cake flavor. Uh, that. Sprinkles. And then to know when to flip your pancake, you'll see all these bubbles are forming and they're popping. That's when you know it's ready to flip your pancake. When you start to see the edges get a little dry, that's a good sign that they're almost ready to flip also. I felt she was looking for one of those. So, what if I was? <laughs> so now what? Uh, so, cool story, bro. I like the look of this side better, so I'm just gonna do that.
It's the mystery. You don't know yeah. which one you get. forgot to check the maple syrup in the cupboard or the fridge wherever you decide to keep your maple syrup. I guess we'll just have to throw all those pancakes away. <gasps> Break out the box of cereal. Or we can make something else. Let's do it. I'm excited. Me too. So if you forgot the maple syrup, it's all good. You take a little bit of butter. We're making like a, it's almost like caramel sauce kind of. Just like a nice sweet, sugary, delightful goodness. So we're gonna go about six tablespoons of butter. Get that melting. You don't even really have to wait for it to totally finish melting because then we're gonna start melting the brown sugar with it. Just kind of get the sugar all melted. So this one, you can stir away. Not like the previous caramel ones, you're not allowed to touch it. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? The sugar and butter has been incorporated. Now we're gonna hit a little bit of whipped cream. This is what's gonna thin it out and give it that more saucy-like texture. A little bit of vanilla, about a teaspoon of vanilla. Bring this to a boil. When it comes to boil, you're going to see how thick and syrup-like it looks delicious. You need to cook this well just a minute or two, just to reduce the whipped cream a little bit, just to add a little thickness to it, that's what she said, because it's been a long time, that's what he said. <laughs> and from there, once you get to that consistency almost, we're going to hit it with some fresh walnuts, just to add a little crunch back to this. And there you go, guys. We got a instant maple syrup substitute right here, that people are going to be like, maple syrup. Who? <laughs> That's right. So we're gonna hit this right on top. We're gonna hit it with some more scorbits. Some white chocolate. And some dark chocolate. And some sprinkles! <laughs> what is this? Uh, pancakes <laughs> extraordinaire. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I'm just gonna kind of go on the top here a little right. bit. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Yay, Yay. to breakfast. That is a very wide variety of flavors. <laughs> but it works. Like when it first went in my mouth, I got like the blueberry, mm. and then the blueberry switched to caramel crunch. And then it switched to chocolate chips. And sprinkles. <laughs> like, yeah. I need more of this. This is freaking delicious. Is it, uh, is it your birthday and you didn't tell me? Like, is this like premature birthday cake? Soon. It's delicious. It is. Um, All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, 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 um. Did Willy Wonka just send us some Oopa Loopas? Yep. yep. <laughs> so we're going to do a Mickey Mouse. I... Mickey's looking, he's having a harsh day. <laughs> it's been rough. There's a little caramel on a smile. This is a no-name brand Mickey Mouse. <laughs> the Mickey party too hard. That was an epic fail.